Hello and good afternoon, CSI 158, section 841 and 843 students for the spring semester at Anne Arundel Community College. Today's activity is going to be Packet Tracer 1.3.1.3, which is the Skills Integration Challenge and the first Packet Tracer activity due as part of this course, which is the second course in the Cisco Networking Academy curriculum which is routing and switching essentials. As you can see here, we have our addressing table that we should be familiar with from CSI 157. You have your objectives as well as the scenario and our requirements. So let's dive right in. So the first requirement is to use a console connection to access each switch. So for that, we want to come down to the connections panel, select the console connection, It'll go to the RS-232 port, and then we'll come down here into the switch and choose the console port. And we're going to do the same thing from the reception PC. Whoops, the RS-232 port will be selected, and then we'll come over here to room-146. So we've connected a console cable to each of the switches, and so now let's go ahead and perform our switch configuration tasks. I'll pull the manager PC up and we'll take a look at the desktop and we're going to use the terminal again bits per second 9600 baud 8 bits no parity bit one stop bit and no flow control so we'll say okay if I hit enter a few times you can see that I'm now logged into the switch using the console cable via the terminal application on the desktop so from user exec mode I'm going to go to privilege exec mode from privilege exec mode, we'll go into global configuration mode where we're going to go ahead and give the switch room-145 the name room-145. As you can see, the host name change takes place immediately. So we need to put a password for all lines. So the first line that we'll do is console zero. And so I'll put down password R4 capital X E3 and we'll hit enter and then we'll also need the login keyword here so that when you go to log in that's when you're prompted for that password so from here I'm gonna exit one layer up back to global config mode before I move into the VTY line configuration mode for our VTY lines where I'm also going to go ahead and apply that same password so password and it's gonna be capital R4 capital X lowercase e and the number three and then login so we'll exit back out back to global config mode out of line configuration mode and so now for the secret password it wants us to set that to the string c and this is where we'd put that in so it's going to be capital c four a capital j a so the enable secret password will be capital c four lowercase a capital J lowercase a and now let's go ahead and type in I'm gonna save my configuration on the switch and let's do the show run command so you can see the enable secret password has already been encrypted our host name is set and we'll come down here and we'll take a look at the line passwords and you'll notice that for the console line as well as the VTY lines those passwords aren't encrypted so we want to make sure whoops want to make sure that we go to global config mode and type in service password encryption and now if I do a do show run and we'll go back down to the end here you can see that those passwords have now been encrypted okay so we also want to include a warning in the message of the day banner so we're gonna type in banner MOTD and then the delimiting character which indicates not only the start of the banner message but where I want the banner message to terminate and so now I'm gonna put down this is your warning. All right, I'll oh, put message, warning message. All right, make sure that it's not checking for that word warning. I didn't want to put the exclamation marks next to it. So then we put the dollar sign character to indicate that we're done. And that's what we want for our banner message. All right, it says configure all addressing. And so now I'll scoot back over here so we can see our addressing table up here at the top. So now it says complete all addressing or configure addressing for all devices according to the addressing table. So I'm in the global config mode 
And room 145, which is the switch that I'm currently on, it wants us to configure VLAN 1. So now we'll go into interface configuration mode. I'm going to bring that interface up with the no shut command. I'm going to apply the IP address it's asking for. And so room 45 VLAN 1 should be 128.107.20.10. And again, 128 is considered a class B address, but we are going to apply a slash 24 class C subnet. But again, remember, that does not change the class of the address. The 128 will always be a class B address. However, we're simply applying a class C slash 24 subnet mask. And I'll just put a quick description in here, VLAN 1 interface, or I'll do VLAN 1 SVI, switch virtual interface. Okay, and so I'm going to type in N, and we're going to do a write mem, and I'm going to save my configuration. Let's go ahead and close our terminal window, because we're good there, and let's pull up the IP configuration on our PC, because that's been provided. So I'm on the manager PC, and the IP address on the manager PC is 128.107.20.25, and when I hit the tab key here, it's going to fill in the class B subnet mask, by default, because again, 128 is a class B address, but we're going to apply a class C subnet mask. And my default gateway, we have no router right now, so we're going to go ahead and leave our default gateway blank. So let me go ahead and close this and close this. And so now we'll come over to the reception PC where we're going to walk through the same steps that we just did for the manager PC as well as the room-145. So I'm going to pull the terminal up, and you can see here I'm connected to the switch. So from user exec mode, I'm going to go into privilege exec mode. From privilege exec mode, I'll go into global config mode, and we'll walk through the tasks in the same fashion. I'm going to set the host name to room-146. As you can see, the host name sets immediately. The next task is to set the password for all the lines. So we'll start with line con zero and we'll do password and it should be capital R4 capital X E3 and then the login keyword now we'll exit one level up and I'll go line VTY 0 to 15 so these are all of the virtual terminal lines where you would SSH or Telnet to connect into the switch we're gonna set that same password capital R4 capital X E3 and then login and then I'm going to go ahead and exit back up. And the enable secret password is going to be, and remember the zero indicates that what follows here is going to be clear text or plain text, not encrypted. So C4A, or capital C, 4A, capital J, A is our enable secret password. Encrypt all passwords, which is that service password encryption command that we do from global config mode. So now the line VTY passwords will be encrypted. It wants us to include the message of the day, so banner MOTD. Again, the dollar sign is going to be my delimiting character. So I'm going to put this is your warning message. And again, I end that message with that dollar sign. And that puts me back out to global config mode. So now we want to configure the addressing, so I'm going to go from global config mode into interface config mode. So we'll go into VLAN 1. We're going to bring that interface up. I'm going to apply the IP address, and this is the room-146 switch, so the IP will be 128.107.20.25. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, .20.15. So the room 146 is .20.15, and again, class B subnet mask. So all of the devices that we are working with here, as you can see, they're all in the same subnet. The 128.107.20.0 slash 24 subnet. And so that's why we don't need a default gateway, because all of the devices are in the same subnet. So I'll put a quick description here, which is just simply VLAN 1 SVI. So we've configured the addressing there. Let me go ahead and type end to put me back out to privilege exec mode, where I'm going to type the write memory command. And let's do a quick show run. Save my config with write memory. Service password encryption is set. The host name is set. The enable secret password is set. And if we come down here, you can see we've got our warning message. VLAN 1 has been configured. And all of the lines, the console line as well as the VTY lines, have also been configured. And their password is also encrypted. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and pull up 
the IP address configuration for reception, which is going to be 128.107.20.30. And again, it fills in the class B subnet mask by default because 128 is a class B address, so it's assuming we're going to be doing a class B. However, in this case, we know we're applying a slash 24 class C subnet mask. So now my IP is set. So let's go ahead, let's test some connectivity. So first of all, can I ping myself? 128.107, let's make sure that there are no issues with the drivers in the TCP IP stack, and I am the reception PC, 20.30. So I can ping myself without a problem. So now let's see if I can get out to the manager PC, which is .25. I can ping there, no problem. Let's try 15, which is the room 146 switch, to which I'm directly connected. And as you can see, the first request times out, at which point it then succeeds. And now let's try the room 145 switch, which is just, just on the other side of switch room-146, as we would expect. The first ping times out, and then the successive pings work great. And so now let's make sure that our console lines, we'll come back here to the terminal, I'll go to connect, and we should receive... Oh, we haven't logged out. So let me log out, and I'll log back in. As you can see, now we get the password, which should be capital R4, capital X, E, and then 3. And we're logged in. Let's see if the enable secret password works. So I'm prompted for the password, so that's a great sign. So it's capital C4, lowercase a, capital J, lowercase a. And that works great. All right, so we've just tested room-145. Let's come back here to reception. For our final set of tests, let me exit out, hit enter. I now am prompted for the password, which is what we're looking for, what we're expecting. So it's capital R4, capital X, E3. As you can see, it puts me into user exec mode. When I go with the enable command to get into privilege exec mode, I now need to enter capital C4, at lowercase a, capital J, lowercase a. And there we go. So the last thing we're going to do, you can see here, completion says 100%. I always like to come in just to make sure and check results. And there we go. So 24 tasks needed to be completed. We completed all 24. Our score is 100 out of 100. Again, this is Packet Tracer Activity 1.3.1.3 for the spring 2014 semester for the Routing and Switching Essentials course, the second course of four in the Cisco Networking Academy curriculum for students at Anne Arundel Community College in sections 158-841 and-847. All right, have a great evening and I'll see you soon.